Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones on this Memorial Day weekend. Go ahead and hit the like button. The sooner you hit the like button, the more YouTube tells other people about me, okay? If you're new to the page, like, subscribe, notification bell. Come join the family, right? And um, we're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about how we could change your mind that will change your pocket, okay? We want to get into that really quick. But before that, on yesterday's video, I talked about an important announcement that I have to make. And in this 15 second video, let's hear what the announcement is. New York, New York, mark your calendars. New York, New York, June 7th at 6 p.m. We are coming to your town to meet and greet you. Who is the we? We are the core four. We got Stock Mo. We got Keenan Grace. We got Stocks with Josh and myself. We are coming to New York simply to meet and greet you. OK, we're going to have giveaways that night and everything is sponsored by Moo Moo. We're going to have a great time just meeting and greeting you. If you want to see us do what we do live together, the core four, we will be doing it that night. Tickets are limited, so make sure you click the link below for further details. We'll see you there. It's absolutely free, 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 free. We're going to have some music playing, um, uh, some drinks, and uh, we're going to, I don't drink alcohol, me personally. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. But we just want to rub el elbows with you guys. So if you're in the New York area, make sure, let's, let's, let's pack the place out. And if that's successful, we're, we're, we'll consider doing some more cities, okay? Uh, let's get right into what I want to talk about um, and on this Memorial Day weekend. God bless you if you serve this country as we remember those who have served this country and paid the ultimate price. All of the armed forces, all of the frontline workers, we honor you on this Memorial Day weekend. God bless you. Hey, let's talk about mindset and money, okay? Now, there is a uh, article that's been out for a while now, and a lot of people say that this is not true, right? And, and there's a lot of argument back and forth. But I will tell you that the principle of this is true, okay? We have been herded and we have been taught a certain way by our educational system, our broke educational system. Uh, the modern day education system was designed to teach future factory workers to be punctual, docile, and sober. Okay. And so in this argument, basically there's a lot of talk going around, have been for years that's saying the modern day school system was created to teach us how to be factory workers. Now you may argue with this and there's holes in this. I get it. But the basic principle is true. We have been taught to take our marching orders, don't ask any questions, line up 12 years of our lives before higher education and what we get programmed. What do we get programmed to do? We get programmed to work a job. We get programmed to work for an employer, right? And we get programmed to just do that until what? Retirement where we can live on social security, right? That's how we programmed. And if you're even smarter, you invest in a 401k, you give a job 30 to 40 years of your life, you get sick and you die. Well, that's stinking thinking. I'm telling you right now that that is stinking thinking. It's nothing wrong with uh, uh, being at a company a long time but the truth of the matter is, if you just adjust one little thing, right? For those of you that have been in the Navy, the Navy rather, and you, you've been out on the water, you know, you guys tell me, you know, I was told years ago that if you were heading to one continent and you were off by one notch because of the distance, if you were off by one notch, you will end up on an entire different continent thousands of miles away okay and that's the way the school system is created right now they allow the credit card companies to come in right 
you graduate from high school, what? And then you get into 40 to $140,000 in debt to go to college, right? And then you get out and you make a and you have a job that's barely enough to pay your rent and your student loan, let alone a car and you got to eat, right? It's broke, good people. I'm telling you it's broke because we've been programmed to be poor. I'm going to stay on this because a lot of you, I want to free you and it will free you financially. And so these are what, these are some of the things that we have to point out. You guys see that right now. I know some people are going to say, well, I did a deep dive and it's not true, but we have been uh, trained or taught to be in a hurt. Now, let's read this. This is called seven things rich people do that poor people do not do, do not do. And the truth is there's a lot of truths in these. Let's just go through them right quick. All right. Number one, rich people read books about success. Now that is true. They read books about success. They make their children read it while 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 we're reading Cat in the Hat, they're reading about wealth. We think that our children won't understand or comprehend this. And the truth of the matter is they will comprehend it better than you do. All right. And so I would say buy some books and everybody don't learn by books. Then go get audio books. And if not audio books, you have this thing called YouTube. All right. Let's keep it going. Number two, rich people sacrifice uh, the present for the future. That is 100% true. Remember, I always say, do what's hard now, right? And then you, if you do what's hard now, you'll live an easy life, right? Do what's easy now, you'll live a hard life. And there's a lot of truth in that, right? So number two, rich people sacrifice the present for the future. So what does that mean? That means that if I was taught properly, then the day that I got my first job, I would have been investing 10% of my income. And then I would have figured out how much house I can afford after that, how much car or whatever a luxury I can afford, how many times I can go afford to go to the movie theater or dinner after I have paid myself first. So that one is the biggest one. Rich people sacrifice the present for the future. Now, you don't have to retire at 72, 68 if you plan correctly, right? So let's keep it moving. Here, number three, rich people believe that they are responsible for their own fate. This one is big. And I'm going to tell you right now on this Memorial Day weekend, that is true. Until I looked in the mirror, and, and, and said to myself in front of my wife, it is your fault. We're in this mess. I said that to myself. You could ask my wife. And I said, well, what happens if something happens to me? This was years ago. If something happens to me right now, you would have to sell the house. And she said, no, it's OK, baby. I was like, no, 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 that's not OK. Because that's my fault. And so take responsibility and start creating wealth. It starts here. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. All right. Let's go to the number four. Rich people set financial goals, financial goals. That's an easy one. Good people set financial goals. You know what? How much are you going to invest every week? And remember temperament, just be consistent. How much are you going to invest? Set those goals and then buy uh, uh, a certain goal post or certain, you know, periods, you say, I want to have this much in my investment account. That's how I got to where I was. I set financial goals. Not only did I set financial goals, I was driving Uber to make sure extra to, to make sure that I hit those financial goals. Okay. So number five, rich people focus on their health. Your boy is at the gym right now because once they take care of number one through four excuse me then the next thing is what your health right what good is it to gain this the, to gain all of this wealth and you're not healthy enough to enjoy it 
You're not healthy enough to walk on a beach or to get on the airplane to actually enjoy it. So that is true too. concentrate on your health, right? Money can't buy you health. Money can't buy you love either, but um, it can buy you somebody who, who say they love you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rich people spend their time with successful people. That is a huge one. I say this and you can write this down and take it to the bank. People are put into your life for a time, a season, a purpose and a reason. Time, season, purpose, reason. And everybody is not created to go on this journey with you. Most of you that are listening to me have someone that you need to get rid of. They are holding you down. They are dead weight. You need to treat them like the plague. They're always telling you what you cannot do. Remember, never share a big dream with a small minded person. Okay. Remember that rich people. And, and on top of that, get on trains, planes, and automobiles and go sit with successful people. Successful people don't like it when you ask them for money, but they do like it when you ask them for information. Okay. Find you somewhat successful and say, hey, what do you need done? I did that many years ago. What do you need done? How can I help you? And when they ask you, what do you want? Just tell them some information. I, I called a very wealthy person up. I had was in the room with him and I got his number and I says, listen, I want to come to your office for a day. What I'm this is this is going to help somebody. And he says, well, what can I do for you, Mr. Jones? I says, absolutely nothing. You can't pay me. I just want to hang around you and gain some knowledge. And he was taken away. All right. And so I'm telling you guys that this really do work. All right. Rich people use their credit uh, wisely. That's a huge one. Now, I have A1 credit. I'm not co-signing for nobody. I got two beautiful daughters. I love them to death. I'll stand in front of a train. I'll pull Superman's cape. I'll, I'll, I'll bite King Kong's toe from my daughters. They've been not get in the water because a brother can't swim. They don't, I told them, get in the water, you're on your own. But I, I told them, I, I, won't credit, I, I won't sign for you. I won't go sign for you. Now, some of you guys are going to say, oh, that's, that's wrong. No, it's not. I, you know, my credit was toe up from the flow up for many, many years. And when I got my credit to where it is right now, there's nothing I'm I'm not putting that at risk anymore because me having good credit is going to help my kids. It's going to help me to leave them inheritance and inheritance. So leverage, leverage your credit. OK, leverage your credit and use it wisely. OK, I am I have established a credit line personally and with my business. Now I have a credit line that I could use for future purchases, which I am on that real estate once it keeps falling down. So I am going to leave it right there. I said I was going to make this one quick and I didn't, but I just felt that this was important for you guys to know. And um, I, I really wanted you guys, I really wanted to go over these seven principles with you guys because they are important. They are really, really important. And I will tell you, believe it or not, if you change this, you'll change everything else. This educational system is broke. It does not teach you to be the 5%. The educational system that we're sending our kids from, you say, why didn't my parents tell me about this? Your parents came from the same school. So it doesn't teach you how to be the 1%, which are the billionaires that I talked about. Uh, um, uh, uh, the CEO of NVIDIA made $6.5 billion overnight. Literally after closing bail, that's how much his wealth went up, right? It don't teach us that. It don't teach us how to be the five percent millionaires, you know, uh, or the people that make over four hundred thousand. They don't teach us that, right? They teach us how to be sheep, right? And so we have to understand this. Wealth is just shifted. So the five percent prosper from the ninety-five percent. It's time for you and I to move towards the 5%. So we even see, I'm going to add number eight to that. Wealthy people see things different. All I see is opportunity. 
And 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 a lot of people, all they see is gloom and doom and look at my 401k and all of that. All I see is opportunity. You don't have to be wealthy to start thinking wealthy. You don't have to be rich to start acting rich. And I don't mean wearing all of everything you own because Lord knows you need to keep you. Your money needs to be uh, making money for you. But to start adopting these principles. Hey, I'm going to play this uh, um, uh, announcement one more time to make sure you guys got it. New York, New York, mark your calendars. New York, New York, June 7th at 6 p.m. We are coming to your town to meet and greet you. Who is the we? We are the core four. We got Stock Mo. We got Keenan Grace. We got Stocks with Josh and myself. We are coming to New York simply to meet and greet you, okay? We're going to have giveaways that night, and everything is sponsored by Moo Moo. We're going to have a great time just meeting and greeting you. If you want to see us do what we do live together, the core four, we will be doing it that night. Tickets are limited, so make sure you click the link below for further details. We'll see you there. Make sure you take care of that. Hey, it is absolutely free. Come out. We're going to have a great time, okay? Lastly, make sure you check out the top link below, which is Stock Up U, Stock Up University. Number nine, invest in yourself. Stop consuming all of this social media every day and watching funny cat videos and start creating generational wealth. All right, good people? Be careful this weekend. We will see you tomorrow. Live, love, laugh, and learn.